Yeah, now we go to a classic more. golf course. We, we go to a really a polar opposite this week, Colonial Country Club, which has been around on tour since 1946, the longest running uh, PGA Tour event that's been held at the same course uh, year after year, uh, is what has been called many different names over the years, but now the Charles Schwab Challenge, the golf course has remained the same. It's pretty long for a par 70 at almost 7,300 yards, but like I say, very different from Valhalla where you've got a lot of dog legs, narrow fairways, shorter hitters tend to flourish here. You know, it, it's more of a plotter's golf course where you have to be very accurate, work the ball in both directions. You have to carry a, a hot putter on these very small greens. So, you know, where Valhalla was so big and, and you could just bomb it all over the yard, Colonial is much more claustrophobic where you've really got to, look towards precision and accuracy this week. It's a classic test. I'm sure it'll be a fun one. We do have some good stars in the field this week, including Scotty Scheffler, but a very different style of golf that's going to likely come out on top this week. I've never seen any golfer a big a favorite as Scheffler is this week. Am I wrong? I've never seen this. Plus 275? Yeah. I mean, you, you know, it's amazing. If you look at the odds board, you've got Scotty there at less than three to one, and then Morikawa at 12. And then it seems like all of a sudden everybody else is 50 to one. You know, I, I mean, there's just, there's very few short shots and then everybody's 50, 60. Yeah. So, you know, I, I went with Morikawa. It, 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 it occurred to me at the Masters when he contended and came up just short and he came out and said, you know what, I, I'm this close. I've really got to rededicate myself to getting over that hump and grinding and putting in the extra work to get this done again. And, and we saw it play out the following week at Harbortown when he recorded the top 10. We saw it play out here at the PGA Championship when he record, he was in the lead going into the final round. He was tied with Shoffley. Yeah. I think that continues here. I think, I think Morikawa is really, you know, on the push here to, to record another win. He's finished runner-up at this tournament before. We know he's that precision accuracy type player. So he was my short shot. And then I went with the, uh, you know, 50 some to one guys, Billy Horschel, uh, who had a great PGA championship. I got him at 55. Andrew Putnam, who played well at the PGA. Again, a great short game and accuracy based player. Got him at 55. And then Christian Bezadenhout and uh, Denny McCarthy, I got at 50 to one. They're all similar type guys, you know, better built for a shorter track, ball striker, short game emphasis type players. All right. Well, I can't wait. I know we got the uh, U.S. Open coming up next month, too. So I'm Bet sure Sheffler that that will now. be a lot of Bet Sheffler <laughs> now for the U.S. Open. I think that's the, the perfect course for him. And the arrest is all going to be behind. I know. Him. I know. I know. Plus 275. This A golfer? That big a favorite in a field? I, I just I can't remember. Maybe Tiger Woods was a favorite like that. Anyway, great stuff as always, Brady. We'll catch up again next week. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Craig.